So what we're looking at right now, guys, is an NBS pattern. This is part of the scope portion of our testing. Now the NBS pattern is used by opticians, as well as ANSI to judge purity of lens material and how it affects clarity and accuracy. According to ANSI, we need to see 20 lines of resolution to pass this test. Now when I say resolution, just talking contrast, I just want to see the difference between these black and these white lines. Now we also need to see that at 12, at 14, and at 17, but anything past 20 is a bonus, the test is going to stop right here at 40. Your eyes physically cannot pick up that type of resolution. So Rob, go ahead and try on that set of eyewear. It's a competitor set of eyewear, non Oakley, probably about $300 right off the shelf. But as you try that set of eyewear on, you look at this screen, you can see these lines right here, right? Definitely. Image doesn't really change. Pretty much still the same. Vertical lines, horizontal lines, white screen, black lines. But what you were actually looking through, Rob, was that. Whoa. Now that's not what you saw, right? No. No. It's because your brain and your eyes are an amazing system. They're able to fix distortions. They kind fix like distortions. fighting the lenses. Exactly. You're making your eyes work harder than they have to. So this is a glass lens for a competitor. Now we do not use glass in any of our sunglasses here at Oakley, but a lot of competitors still do. Why? Well, it's got a good scratch resistance. It's great in RX lenses. Downside of it, it's not impact safe and it doesn't provide inherent UV protection. So what these companies are required to do is either add a coating or a filter. They're going to sandwich it between multiple layers of glass with glues and adhesives. Those glues and adhesives, along with the layering process, is going to cause those distortions that you see up there. Now this is simply just a camera system. Anything that I put in front of it shows up on the screen. But since this system doesn't have a brain and a set of eyes to fix distortions like we do, whatever it looks through just appears up there. Now, it could not just be an issue with glass. Could have an issue with some other lens materials out there. CR39 is a very popular competitor lens material. And you can see we're still having issues with the optics up there. This could be an issue of the design, maybe not using correct geometries on the lenses. This could be an issue of manufacturing. A large majority of these companies don't make their own lenses. They have one company make a lens, one company make a frame. It's pretty hard to check the quality of your lens if you don't make it yourself. But it could just be an issue of too much heat, too little heat, dust, dirt, all throughout the manufacturing process. Um, Polycarbonate is also a pretty uh, popular lens material that we see from a lot of competitors. It's great in the sport, sport world, but we still have issues with clarity in there. This is why we don't use just a standard polycarbonate. We use our own proprietary blend, which is known as Plutonite. So we have an Oakley Radar Lock with a Plutonite lens. Now, image did get a little bit darker, but I can add some light in the system. Very easy to see 40 lines of resolution. So your XYZ lens geometry, your Plutonite lens material, is the basis for your HDL, high definition optics. 